हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू टू ई पी जी पाठशाला माई नेम इज डॉक्टर अमित कटोच एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ होटल एंड टूरिज्म मैनेजमेंट ऑफ पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी डेयर स्टूडेंट्स आई वुड बी टेकिंग योर मॉड्यूल ऑन एयरपोर्ट एंड टर्मिनल प्लानिंग अंडर द पेपर एविएशन इंडस्ट्री टिकटिंग and frontier formalities after going through this module you will be able to learn about terminal planning and design process of an airport know about forecasting learn about terminal capacity demand analysis and los learn about the computer simulations about baggage handling systems study the security planning at the terminals learn about airport facilities and it will also educate the learners about automated people movers and passenger boarding bridges airports are important national resources and play a significant role in mode of transportation they help not only in the transport of passengers but also in the carriage of goods at destination regional national and international level an airport may be described as a facility or an aerodrome which provides spaces for flights or aircraft for take off or land it also provides other amenities or facilities such as control towers for air traffic control to adhere to compulsory and advisory messages to aircraft from the ground hangars which are enclosures of aircrafts and terminals which are building in airport which facilitate embarkation disembarkation of passengers purchase of tickets transfer of luggage and security services apart from presence of passenger facilities such as restaurants shopping facilities etc and facilities for immigration such as customs and passport or border controls airport which are large in size may also have other infrastructural facilities such as taxiway bridges which are bridges over motorways waterways and railways which come in the way of runway airport aprons which are spaces of aircraft which is used for parking loading or unloading luggage or goods refueling or boarding purposes fixed base operator services such as the organization which provides services or facilities such as parking or tie down refueling hangering flight instruction flight maintenance or related services and also emergency services overall the airport is divided into air side and land side areas the former includes the spaces or areas accessible to aircrafts which are runways aprons ramps and taxiways whereas the latter includes areas available for passengers or travelers such as check in and check out parking lots of traveler vehicles public transport that is public transit or mass transit which is shared passenger transport service railway stations or roads for accessibility in order to proceed to a side areas from land side it requires checks whether security or passport controls for passengers as well as the staff present on the airport the airport and terminal planning is a vital aspect in airport as it helps in developing passenger airport terminals as well as in analyzing the key issues related to a side and land side components of an airport the airport planners and designers are continuously struggling to design airport and passenger terminals to provide efficient and swift services to the various stakeholders which are present on the airport 
or who come to take the service such as passengers whether it is a small airport or it may be a large airport also the areas in airport and passenger terminals should be able to provide standards of icao that is the international civil aviation organization and be update with the latest technology materials there is continuous shift in technology structure of the industry and operations of the airline hence planning is required for security screening electronic check in or check out low cost airlines concessions cost effectiveness or consolidation but planning aspects do not include only the above mentioned aspects but other matters which are continually coming up due to air operations in the earlier times the airports had limited operations but in the present times when air travel has greatly multiplied with larger aircraft jets better competence and flexibility are also required to accommodate higher number of passengers and baggage eros serinin in 1960 played an important role to design the airports in 1961 he designed twa terminal at new york city john f kennedy international airport and in 1962 he designed the second terminal design at dulles international airport that is iad but surely these terminals had been designed not keeping in mind the guidelines however they acted as symbols for further growth and clearly it necessitated more systematic and proper planning for airport and terminal plannings for the future generations now i will discuss about terminal planning and design process of an airport airport terminal planning of an airport is a very specialized work and involves a lot of aspects which are to be analyzed properly this includes a lot of aspects such as environmental aspects commercial aspects operational procedures safety security financial aspects maintenance related engineering linked and others the planning phase broadly involves two aspects firstly the getting together and cataloging of facts information and parameters that will help in planning and design of the amenities at the terminals and secondly in determining forthcoming predictions of the airport traffic depending on passenger flow cargo drift and airliner schedules and when all these two aspects have been worked out the terminal planning starts based on the information the concepts are redefined progressively into richer concepts by evaluating them and lastly all these refined concepts become the basis of the preliminary architectural and engineering plan design project development specifications and cost approximation terminal planning and design process involves outlining the terminal facilities which is followed by the design project process the airport provide an array of services to its users such as airline passengers persons who come to take or leave the passengers companies who are engaged in tourism industry airport administration government bodies and air aviation regulatory bodies hence the facilities should be developed to satisfy the need of each user and to be constructed according to strict guidelines including saps which are standards and recommended practices the terminal compound or complex comprises of the interface amongst aircraft travelers and the several modes of land side conveyance the terminal system is made up of 
interrelated subsystems which primarily include land side that is non secure passenger processors that is departure concourses arrival concourses concession spaces before and after immigration clearances a side secure departure concourses that is pre boarding lounges in transit lounges concessions which include souvenir gift shops especially fnb duty free shops and services related to spa entertainment business centers forex checked baggage handling areas that involve baggage loading and unloading areas and government check areas which include passenger and baggage screening areas and checked baggage screening areas hence broadly the terminal complex encompasses three principal mechanisms that is a side terminal and land side the a side terminal facilities include aircraft parking facilities gate aprons aircraft maneuvering facilities taxi ways ground service equipments aircraft servicing service and emergency response blast fences waste disposal refueling facilities and winter procedures the terminal building facilities are also important and constructed keeping in mind the key functional factors such as operational factors and business aspects that affect airport operators and the local community also their design and plan is made keeping in mind the demand pattern and needs of the travelers airlines and the aircrafts also the design has a flexibility part so that they could be further modified in case the demand and supply patterns vary these operational functional and business related drivers includes security planning passenger and baggage management systems it based technologies sustainability aspects and involving green technology demand based management concepts shopping facilities eating facilities being others in other words the basic aspect of the terminal building component of the terminal complex includes programmatic parameters such as LOS that is level of service standards that define the desired performance for different terminal components and demand basis terminal facility requirements includes check-in ticketing passenger screening concessions hold rooms circulation baggage claim airline offices and operation areas baggage screening system baggage handling support areas building systems international facilities and other facilities functional relationships flow sequences that is employees passengers visitors baggage deliveries and waste removal terminal concept development which includes national and international terminals configuration of concourse terminals which may be centralized or decentralized single or multiple equipments used in terminals and swing gates and movement of passengers mover systems of passenger and packs way finding and signage the land side terminal facilities provide interface linking the airport with local area transportation system the broad facilities include pedestrian facilities motor vehicle lanes entry or exit roadways transit staging areas parking and rail transits the terminal facility planning is followed by design project process which comprises the type of projects type of services and identifying a preferred terminal facility solution the types of projects are determined by the size or extent of the airports which can be small medium or large further the terminal planning and design project may be new result of expansion or renovation 
This design process involves setting project parameters based on a gathered inventory, designing the facility according to forecasts available, constructing conceptual alternatives, evaluating them, and selecting an appropriate option. The type of services comprises the most excellent course of action through technological analysis and qualitative way of thinking. These services can be grouped into four main categories that are facilities, programming, planning, design and specialized technical analysis. Identifying an ideal terminal project comprises following a typical project approach which depends on whether it is new or result of expansion or renovation. It further also depends on the type of stakeholders perspective, airlines, concessionaries and airport management. For terminal planning, it is important to set goals and objectives and traffic forecasts. The programming of terminal facilities or services involves different methods. In order to use programs for master plan, conceptual plan, schematic diagram and renovations, we require different types of details, inputs and should be able to justify the need of the user. After the goals and objectives are set, conceptual planning occurs which involves clearer focus based on the engagement of the stakeholders and reviewing developing concepts. After all reasonable options have been developed, an evaluation of them is done to yield or adopt a concept which is advantageous. But the following areas should be taken care of such as land site, terminal, sustainability issues, flexibility, local community issues, environmental issues being others. Moreover, the evaluation criteria may also be grouped into A site, land site, terminal cost, site, etc. and scoring given plus 1, 0 and minus 1. Ideologically, the yield of the subsequent evaluation is known as recommended terminal development concept. Again, the shortlisted options are again reviewed, known as concept refinement, to further refine the terminal concept. Further, it involves concessional planning, conceptual phasing, program criteria, being others. It is followed by the design process which involves schematic design, design development and contract documents. Further, it involves value engineering and that will result in minimization of capital and operating costs. Further, the processes involve program management, construction management and project delivery options. The project delivery options may involve four means design bid built, design built, construction management at risk and BOT that is build, operate and transfer. Construction regulations and building codes are the principles or values to look after the public health and safety. Also a certificate of occupancy gives lawful documentation and the building is safe and in a livable condition. Now I will discuss about forecasting. Forecasting involves predictions based on aviation operations in the future. It involves analytical analysis of the previous and present airport trends, air traffic prospects and any other factor which may control local aviation market. Some of the various aspects which a planner should consider prior to airport development are demographics, socio-economic data, disposable income level, aviation factors, geographical factors and other factors or attributes which may affect the overall planning process such as taxes, fuel cost, 
लोकल कम्युनिटी एटीट्यूड पॉलिटिकल डेवलपमेंट्स करेंसी कंस्ट्रेंट्स बीन अदर्स लॉन्ग टर्म फोरकास्ट ऑफ एयरपोर्ट कैन बी डन थ्रू शेयर एनालिसिस ऑफ द एयरपोर्ट इन द रीजनल ट्रैफिक ट्रेंड एनालिसिस और थ्रू फोरकास्ट ऑफ सोशियो इकोनॉमिक स्टेटस थ्रू रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस एंड इकोनोमेट्रिक मॉडलिंग देर कैन बी अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सोर्सेज फॉर द फोरकास्टिंग सच एज सर्वे ऑफ पैसेंजर्स सर्वे ऑफ ए लाइन्स ए लाइन डाटा फ्लाइट शेड्यूल्स एयरपोर्ट रिकॉर्ड्स पी का डाटा और अदर सोर्सेज नाउ आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट टर्मिनल कैपेसिटी डिमांड एनालिसिस एंड एल ओ एस वॉज द टर्मिनल प्रोजेक्ट एस्पेक्ट हैव बिन अंडरस्टूड द टर्मिनल प्लानर एंड ऑपरेटर needs to see that all the elements or components of the project are properly balanced or not or whether they complement each other if we increase or decrease the various components non proportionately it will just increase the cost and do not do justice with the structure hence the basic components of airport terminal complex that is the a side the terminal building and land side should balance each other and while designing them various aspects such as seasonal variations in the air traffic and passenger flows both during peak and non peak hours routine and non routine operations and present and future needs are to be kept into consideration los is a terminology commonly used by the airport planners and airport operators it can be expanded as level of service and describes the service qualitatively and quantitatively which is given to the passengers or travelers at various locations in the airport the concept of los was primarily developed by transport canada in the 1970s because then the explanation of capacity was considered insufficient TC defined LOS on the principles used in traffic engineering and John Furin work which was used for the port authority of New York and Jersey these methodologies have been used to create a six level scale which measures A to F from excellent level to system breakdown Now I will discuss about computer simulation of terminal flows. The airport operations have become very complex and with it are coming new issues and challenges. Some of the issues are related to quality of service, insufficient capacity, congestion of airport, financial planning, security issues, changing political and environmental situations being others. these issues have been neglected earlier and some of them are of recent origin so all of these aspects have to be taken into consideration while conceptualization planning designing and managing the airports the increase air traffic has led to great increase in passenger flows at the airport terminals the passengers want a smooth operation in an airport from entering the airport to getting the boarding pass facing passengers handling facilities and vice versa and so is the case with the airport developers and managers who want to give an efficient and good service to the customers though insufficient arrangements or procedures may cause long queues which may be a problem for all and further lead to security issues confusions passenger missing and delay of flights further on account of it the iata may classify the airport to a lower grade due to passenger density and transfer times and this may lead the major airlines to elude the air terminal hence it's very important to effectively plan the air terminal or reconstruct the existing terminal depending upon the passenger flow in the current as well as future prospects though apart from the architectural changes the procedural changes can also ease the passengers such as more security checkpoints can reduce the long queues 
but all these aspects in terminal planning needs to be improved through modeling by predicting the passenger flows simulation methods which can give good solutions such as passenger paths emergency exits and in knowing the bottlenecks these methods predict the air traffic and passenger flows based on present scenarios and predictions which are based on the view of the experts in order to develop simulations the first step is conceptual framework and defining a world view that is the real world systems functional relationships which are perceived and described the simulation basically involves discrete that is state of system remains unchanged at discrete or event times or continuous that is state of system changes continuously discrete event simulations is used for an airport terminal as equations be derived to describe its characteristics and nature of operations these are three types depending on the properties of simulations such as event oriented activity oriented and process oriented simulations objects or basic units inside the borders of a discrete system are called entities each unit has an various characteristic called attributes they can be hybrid simulation systems to take benefits out of multiple simulation approaches whatever simulations which are used in an airport terminal can be modeled on the basis of two scales macroscopic that is on the basis of single integral system from ground side to a side or microscopic based on individual facilities some of the examples are faas that is federal aviation administration airport land side simulation model that is alsim in usa the canadian airport planning models and slam now i will discuss about terminal operations support systems terminal operations support systems involve flight information display systems airport operational databases that is aodb resource and gate management systems that is rms oblique gms digital advertising and flight data corporate communication solutions for airports the fids supports an extensive array of display scenarios such as baggage gate and ticketing areas mufids that is multiple user flight information display systems touch screens advertising and video walls and pages it also automatically shows live flight status and weather updates schedules flight maps rich site summary that is rss news feeds and company video subscriptions and weather fids implacably integrates with other applications or third party airport it solutions including public address systems billing baggage handling resource management gate docking baggage reconciliation website fids and navigation airport operational databases that is aodb aids as a central repository and translator for all crucial airport information systems it streamlines and minimizes data entry increase operational effectiveness and certify precise information by cross referencing data between various systems the system enhances complete proficiency and performance of operations by providing correct past and real time airport information it helps in decision making progression by providing the latest functioning information to most terminals and permitting users that is operators and passengers to successfully accomplish their duties gate management system that is gms or resource management system that is rms upsurges aircraft parking efficiency although it limits errors and costs the adaptable gms solution 
support custom gate necessities for individual single airports now i will discuss about baggage handling systems the baggage handling systems that is bhs in the airport are responsible for transportation of the checked baggage from airplanes to baggage claim areas or from where the bags can be loaded to the aircrafts it is a conveyor system present in the airports responsible for transportation of luggage from airline terminals to aircraft and vice versa nowadays there are entirely unified automated computerized high speed airport baggage handling systems for all types of airports it includes producing and assimilating systems for security screening storage sortation and transportation of departure baggage from check in to departure gate as well as transportation of transfer and arrival baggage now i will discuss about terminal security planning and facilitation the security planning in the airport and terminals is of very important step as it protects the life of everyone present on the airport so here the role of architects planners engineers become very important a threat and vulnerability assessment of the airport is done strictly during planning of an airport as well as during the normal routine terminal security is not just restricted to anti terrorism or hijack but also includes physical attack theft vehicle damage vandalism being others terminal security focuses on all the three areas that is land side terminal and a side now i will discuss about the airport facilities airports are divided into a side terminal and land side facilities the a side facilities contains all areas available to aircraft and aircraft gates such as runways taxiways and ramps the terminal areas or facilities comprises the facilities for passengers and baggage processing systems the land side facilities comprises airport road parking areas curb frontage public transport railway stations ground transportation and check in passage between land side and a side is tightly controlled at all airports to access a side one has to undergo security and passport control now i will discuss about automated people mover that is apm and passenger boarding bridges which are known as pbb the walking distances in the airport terminals should be kept as short as possible for this purpose proper mechanical or automated aids such as escalators elevators walkways and modernized apm are used the automated people mover that is apm or people mover is a kind of great separated that is a junction of two or more surface transport axes at different heights and comprises a mixture of roads footpaths railways or runways and these are mass transit systems such as skybus mini rail etc they may also provide taxi like services then they are known as prt that is personal rail transits and when they provide facility to 20 to 40 passengers then they are known as grt that is group rapid transit and when apm provides mass transits they are known as mrt that is mass rapid transits for example hong kong international airport apm is a driverless people mover situated inside hong kong international airport pbb that is passenger boarding bridge is a enclosed movable connector which outspreads from an airport terminal gate to the aircraft it was invented by frank the un and also known as jet bridge sky bridge 
गैंग वे एयर ब्रिज और एरो ब्रिज नाउ आई विल समराइज द होल मॉड्यूल एयरपोर्ट्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट रिसोर्सेज ऑफ द कंट्री दे प्ले अ क्रूशियल रोल थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड इन एयर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ पैसेंजर्स एज वेल एज कार्गो द एयरपोर्ट टर्मिनल प्लानिंग एंड डिजाइन इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप इन डेवलपिंग द एयरपोर्ट एंड इन्वॉल्व अ लॉट ऑफ प्लानिंग एंड एयरपोर्ट कंप्लेक्स can be broadly divided into three areas that is a side terminal and land side facilities and their balanced development is very important to avoid financial losses as well as for the smooth and efficient functioning of an airport planners and designers plan all types of airports whether big medium or small these airports are made keeping in mind the present needs and also seeing the future prospects of the demand through simulations the aspect such as aviation factors socio economic data demographics geographical factors local community attitude political developments fuel costs taxes currency constraints all of these factors these play an important role in planning long term forecasting of airport that is share analysis of the airport in the air traffic current trends are vital in airport and terminal planning also the capacity planning in the airport terminal design is very imperative and consequently necessitates watchful and flawless analysis the concept of los that is level of service as developed by john firin is very important to explain the quality of service this approach uses a six level scale that is a to f from the excellent level to system breakdown the terminal operations support systems such as flight display systems fids airport operational databases such as aodb resource and gate management systems that is rms oblique gms greatly aid the airport in the various airport operations also the automated people mover that is apm and passenger boarding bridge that is pbb greatly aid the airline terminals in transportation from a side to land side facilities via the passenger terminal complex at the end of the module i would like to say that terminals have always been and probably always will be the bottlenecks of transportation whether of ground water or airways hence the present need is to develop them as best as we can thank you and have a good day